Hi, and welcome to this week's new arrival video for Fanatics. I'm going to start over here in the dry goods aisle because I got something I want to say about uh, all the new stuff we've been bringing in. Even though we are in lockdown, we are still getting weekly uh, shipments of everything that you need, including your foods and your conditioners and anything that should happen to go wrong on your tank, we got you covered. Remind you guys that we match internet pricing on our dry goods. We're getting new stuff every week. This week we got in our 48 inch full spectrum lights that have been out of stock for a little while. So always something new to add to that. Also lots and lots of decorative wood, driftwood and spider wood came in. Uh, if you haven't been over to fanaticstropicalfish.com that has our online cart. Most of our dry goods are available on that. Of course anything you don't see on there ask because we either have it or we can get it. I've been asked several times whether or not we can get you guys driftwood or other decorations while we're in lockdown. The answer is yes, of course we can. We wheel it right outside so that you can take a look at it. We even put down the pond lid so you can use it for a display table. We didn't get any new bettas this week, but I did want to give you guys a look at this fella. He's just absolutely spectacular now that I've got him in a well-lighted tank. He's a Galaxy Koi betta. Yes, and there he goes, showing off. You are amazing. You know it. Thought I'd share this guy, too. He's a uh, half moon. Just metallic, silvery white with the red fins. And lighting's everything on these guys. Got a couple of monstrous comets this week. This guy's white and black. I think maybe he's a Shabunkin without the red. And that guy there looks like a Sarasa. Red and white. Really nice. Long flowy fins. And those guys came with a buddy. He's just big pink short tailed comet. Hard to tell size on the video. I know, but those guys gotta be with the tail. They gotta be 9 inches, 10 inches. Super neat fish. Another local flare. These are some super special guppies. They call these a Santa Claus guppy. The red tail and the white Dumbo ears. The females have the big white tails. So you can come into there. Now we got focus. Santa Claus guppies again. The red tail with the white outlines, the white, and their big Dumbo ears. The females have the white tail on them. Really spectacular fish. Nicely grown out. These are locally bred, locally, locally raised. I was pretty excited to be able to offer these guys for you. Guppies this week, we got Japanese reds. Blue in the mid part of their tail there is just unreal. Maybe flash in the light. And then right next door we got that's a couple of leftover snake skins, but next to them, next to them we have the blues. So if I can get them to come into focus here for you. Let's try these guys. Here we are. These Japanese blue tail guppy. Blood Red Dwarf Grommies. I think we always used to call these Flame Dwarf Grommies, but these guys actually really are nice and bright red. Really nice looking fish. Got a good group of these guys in for y'all. Dwarf Grommies are great at a color for a community tank. Here's the long finned gold, blue eyed, bushy nosed pleco. This got to be inch and three quarter with the tail. Of course, I got a long tail. More than an inch on the body. These guys ought to do real well for you. They're all out eating and looking amazing. And super long fins on these guys. And you can see nice blue eyes too. So if he ran away, I was going to zoom in so you could see him. Another local find. These are regular bushy-nosed plecos. 
nice and big on these guys. They're a medium, but a big medium, more than two inches, uh, at least two inches with the tail, and probably actually more like two inches without the tail. For the price, these guys are a super good deal. Got a nice little group of these guys. Neon Tetras looking really good. Got a little bigger size on these than the last group. Uh, still just two dollars. Absolute most popular Tetras of all time. A great choice for any community tank. Got some new baby angels. These are locally bred baby angels. Same parents as those mediums we had a couple weeks ago. Still got one or two of those big mediums also, but these guys got a, a leopard pattern on them. Really nice little angel. And like I said, they're local bred. Ought to be acclimated to our situation right away. Really excited to be able to bring you those guys. I had several requests for black moors, so here they are. Nice big guys. Got a pretty good price on them too. Got to be three inches with the tail on these guys. So there they are. We got those guys in the red head or red cap arandas. Got this one little red aranda too. He's kind of a, I think priced him as a fantail because it doesn't have much of a win on him. And of course your black moors. Geophagus Wine Miller Eye, one of my absolute favorite geos. Showing a little bit of their color. Good size on these guys, maybe two inches. These guys are known for the red and blue streaks in them. Uh, they take a little longer to show up their color than, say, the redhead Tapayos. But when they get a little bigger, they are absolutely amazing. Of course, you all know I love my earth eating cichlids. These are one of the best. Electric blue cars are looking absolutely amazing. That blue on blue is really popping. Told you guys I would extend that $10 special, so that's good for this week or next. This guy's got nice little fat bellies. A real good find for $10. And to go shrimp. Very versatile critter. They live in a lot of different circumstances and they make good food for some fish too. Fiddler crabs are cool. Look at this guy. Leoclaw. Oh, and this one's waving at us. Can you wave? Oh, there he waved. Oh, there's a big claw. Well guys, thanks so much for watching our new arrival video for this week. I wanted to end today's video with a look at some of the, the plants that we got that are going absolutely crazy in here. Oh, there's an orange shrimp running through there. Where'd you get in there? Uh, Ludwidges are going nuts and we got some scarlet and temple and some temple and some blue hygro that's growing right out of the tank. Same with the uh, hygro willow. really owe you guys more videos on these plants. I promise I'll get them out, but in betwixt and between, if you need anything on this order, you know we got you covered. Uh, we really enjoyed bringing you this video again today, and we'll catch you back next week for what's new. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you like us. Tell us what it is you're looking for. If you need more of anything we are here to bring that to you but we don't know what you want until you tell us so scroll right down to those comments and give us a shout we'll do our best to get right to that have an awesome day guys see you soon